Part 1 Introduction Oil and gas is a big industry globally. In the beginning, oil was found on land and throughout the years, oil and gas exploration was expanded towards offshore. Offshore oil and gas exploration and production relies on sturdy structures which can be categorized as fixed and floating structures and is designed to overcome the harsh environments and conditions of the sea. Oil fields that are discovered offshore are usually explored to determine the preliminary details of the oil and gas reserve. However, some oil fields discovered have a very small oil and gas reserve and such field is called a marginal field. Deep water marginal field is an oil field usually in an isolated area that has been found to have small packets of hydrocarbon in a reserve that is not economically viable to develop. For example, the location which is an isolated area, making it impossible to perform a tieback solution, which is more cost-effective. Other factors include environmental, political, and economics. However, should technical or economic conditions change, such a field may become a commercial field. Part 2. Challenges Marginal field which is going to be developed requires in-depth research and investigation due to multiple challenges which needs to be overcome. The challenges are size of the marginal field reserve. Because the developing field only lasts up to a few years, which poses a high risk in economically viable to develop, which can cause loss of money and affect the company. Marginal oil fields are also located in an isolated region. Isolated in meaning that the area has not been explored or developed. Therefore, there are no nearby infrastructure that can be used to develop the marginal oil field. Marginal oil fields are located in the isolated areas, politics and geological boundaries of countries are involved in the process. This will cause complication in negotiation, discussion and agreements before starting the exploration of the marginal field. Technological limitation Having the latest technology and implementing it can result in a high capex and with the high risk of developing a field that has a small oil reserve, this can be quite a challenge. Implementing a new technology requires a high-level expert on site to monitor the progress. Time is needed to ensure all personnel are familiar with the new implemented technology in order to avoid any downtime and human error while on the job. Global Oil Prices Global oil prices have been in an all-time low this past few years due to geopolitics and low demand of oil. This can be a huge factor in determining whether developing a marginal field is feasible at the moment. Part 3. Proposed Solution Even though developing marginal oil field pose some challenges, the increasing oil prices and technological advancement has sparked some interest in developing it into a commercial field. Standalone Solution A standalone solution is basically building an offshore platform on the field itself. Due to the location and the depth of the field being a challenge, this solution is not advisable because the capex of building the offshore structure is high and not economically feasible. Semi-submersible A semi-submersible offshore structure can be used to develop the marginal oil field. It is mobile and can go from one location to another. However, it does not have a hull shape and as many function as compared to the FPSO. Part 4. Solution Due to reasons mentioned before, it is found that FPSO is the most suitable offshore structure to be used. Mobility Easy to transport out of the area in case of extreme danger such as cyclone and icebergs. When there is ample warning, the FPSO can release its moorings and rise the turret and be towed away or steam under its own power. When the danger is over, the FPSO can simply return and connect its riser turret again to once more receive oil or gas for production and storage. Cost Efficient There are two main types of FPSOs today, those built by converting an existing oil tanker to an FPSO and those that are purpose-built. In this case, we are using an FPSO that was converted from an existing oil tanker to make the project cost-efficient. FPSO can be used in deep water locations or in remote places. In short life oil fields, where installing expensive infrastructure is not a cost effective measure, FPSO can offer an alternative. A 
especially if the location is remote and in deep water where the installation of a rigid platform cannot be justified. FPSO used in small oil field has an advantage of being able to be recycled. Once they are no longer needed in one location, they can simply lift their moorings and move off to another location to be used again. Variety of function. It can easily be converted into a tanker that has served its useful life as a transport vessel. Extensive deck area and oil storage is also one of its existing advantages because the deck area provides plenty of space for safe and maintainable process facilities and utilities. It can also store oil on board. Cleaning and maintenance. Tanks can be effectively cleaned and maintenance programs carried out using water jetting and water cutting to clean away sludge and other contaminants. Part 5. Justification. Unlike other floating structures, FPSO is a floating facility that was converted based on an oil tanker hull. It is equipped with hydrocarbon processing equipment for separation and treatment of crude oil, water and gases arriving on board from subsea oil wells via flexible pipelines. The system, consisting of various tubes and pipes, was constructed to withstand the variabilities of environmental conditions in the middle of the ocean. The harsh conditions of the ocean will not have any effect on the pureness of the oil. Due to FPSO being flexible in terms of mobilization, it is a more economical solution for marginal fields. Therefore, FPSO can be moved to another development and redeployed once the original field has been depleted. Remote access by vendors for monitoring equipment on board plays a role in reducing manpower. By doing so, it can greatly have an impact in terms of monetary and cost. Consequently, the full potential of technology can be tested to the limit. Good management in terms of environment. Treated oil is transferred to cargo tanks in the FPSO ship's hull. Treated gas is used as fuel for an onboard power generation and excess gas is either re-injected back into the subsea reservoirs or exported via a pipeline to shore. Water that is produced during production is discharged overboard within the environmental limits. Alternatively, water may be injected into the reservoirs. People management Easier to manage the team as the team will be working in a special operation room and can be supervised by their superiors closely. Cost of traveling into the middle of the ocean, such as helicopter fuel, trainings for HSE can be reduced as there are no need to deploy people into the FPSO. HSE Number of offshore related accidents can be reduced as lesser amount of people will be expected to be on the ship itself.